Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com In this video we are going to look at how to consolidate data from multiple sheets using a pivot table. Now when people talk about consolidating data it's, it's a very commonly misused term. We have to understand what they mean by that. So let me clarify what I mean in this example. I have four sheets on this workbook which I'm imagining are different stores for my company. Now I have the expenses of each store. Now they have the same types of expenses, uh, these five expenses, rent, wages, suppliers, uh, travel and miscellaneous, but obviously the figures are different. I want a summary sheet totaling the expenses across all stores and I'm going to use a pivot table to do that now to do this one thing we need is we need our pivot table wizard button if you're using a version of Excel prior to 2007 then you're gonna get this as you create one because I'm on 2013 I've had to add the button myself to the toolbar at the top so if you do not already have this, just click the arrow on the end of that toolbar, move into your more commands option, use the drop down list for popular commands at the top and choose commands not on the ribbon. Scroll through this list and you will find the pivot table and pivot chart wizard button, there it is in mine which can then add across to your toolbar. Now I want to keep the explanation quite brief because I want to get on with the consolidating. But that will get your button on that toolbar. We can now give it a click to initiate the pivot table wizard. And we want the option for multiple consolidation ranges. We can then click on next and it will ask whether we want it to create a page field or not if you're not too familiar with that term a page field is a filter for your pivot table I'm going to say that I will create one as it happens I'm not going to use one but that's by the by I'm going to say that I'll create it I don't want you creating it for me let me have control and I'll click on next where it will then ask you for the ranges to consolidate. So I now need to move through the four sheets of my workbook and select the ranges I want. So uh, let's start off with Birmingham. It makes sense if I start from the first sheet and I'll highlight the range of cells on Birmingham and click add to add it into the list and move on. Selecting each range in turn, this one happens to be the same in fact they're all going to be the same to be fair so I click on Plymouth I can just add these in there now if you have named your ranges or if you have used tables to other techniques for referencing cells then we can obviously enter the range name or the table name in that range uh, I have not here so I've just got some absolute references across the four sheets um, and they're all exactly the same uh, width and height here uh, they don't necessarily need to be the same height for this to work. You can have different number of rows, different number of expenses, as it would be in this example. For me, they're the same. I'll click on Next, and my final step is to ask where I want to put the table. Now, I want a summary sheet, a separate sheet. So I'm going to leave it as New Worksheet. Click Finish. And that is it. I have my summary. So I can now move that sheet if I wish, maybe to the front of my workbook and rename it to maybe summary. I guess my final step here, well, there's, a, there's a lot I could do, but my final step here may be just to change the format of these figures because they don't look too great right now. Right click one of the values, number format, and I'm just going to put them into an accounting form so that they look a lot better and there we have it we have our consolidated 
values using a pivot table. We have the expenses, such as wages and travel, across all sheets. In fact, let, let me do one more thing. I really don't need both tables there. Let me go to my design tab and look at switching off uh, some of these grand totals. I want it for rows only, is that right? Oop, no, wrong one. I always get a wrong one. Uh, columns only. There we go. That's what I want. So a column only. I didn't need that last one. Um, and there's a finished article. Uh, for the purposes of this video anyway. Many more pivot table tools that you could explore. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, please check out some of our other tutorials and tips at computergaga.com.